Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Christmas Eve. Hope everybody's having some good holidays. Um, getting ready for Christmas tomorrow and New Year's next week. Uh, 2021 is almost over. Uh, 2022 is on its way. I uh, hope you guys have big plans and uh, everybody's doing well. I'm praying for good good years for everybody coming up and that uh, everybody will be happy and healthy and and uh, yeah, just have a, have a good new year. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video here because I've got a lot going on being the holidays and everything, but I just wanted to get back out. I've got a uh, kind of a plan now for my long-term review on Void Linux, and this is just going to be a quick video introducing what I'm going, what I'm planning on doing, um, kind of. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get this out here to let you know that I, I started this review of Void Linux as just a temporary install it on my tester laptop and uh, go from there but what you're looking at here this this screen uh, is my working machine um, I am no longer running Arch Linux um, on my main machine I have now switched over to void I have entered the void so to speak um, and it's just because man this this past month or so that I've been playing around with void on my test machine I have I've loved it um, you know, there was some things I was worried about with uh, switching over from Arch or Arco that I thought might be deal breakers. Um, one being documentation. Um, the Arch Wiki is just amazing, but I've learned over the past few years of using Linux that the Arch Wiki is helpful whether you're running Arch or not. Um, it is still a great resource no matter what distribution you're running, so I'm not losing that in any way, shape, or form. Um, the documentation for Void is, is, is pretty good. Um, it's not spectacular by any means, but it is definitely usable and it is helpful. And there's um, a couple guys out there that I've found that uh, that have some stuff on Void that that are extremely helpful. Um, that and the other thing that I was worried about was not having the AUR. Um, the AUR is just a great resource on Arch, but what I did find uh, for Void was you have it didn't shut down correctly. All right, so. You have the uh, void source packages. Um, if you go to GitHub and you go to void Linux, um, void packages, this is an excellent resource. This has all kinds of stuff that's not in the XBPS package manager, um, that it's not in the regular repo, but it's kind of like the AUR. It's set up its templates for installing programs that aren't in the main repo. And you can install them all from here. The documentation is great. I will go over this in another video. But finding this was um, a lifesaver for me. Well, I guess not a lifesaver, but was a big bonus. Um, and just one more reason for me to actually switch to Void to just kind of pull the trigger and do it. Um, I was kind of hesitant because I have been setting up my Arch setup for quite some time. And I was worried about losing all that. But, you know, it was like, I don't do this for a job. This isn't, <laughs> I don't need my machine for work or anything like that. So I just thought to myself, you know, what's the fun in life if you don't try new things? And so I had tried it on my tester machine. I figured I liked it. So I thought, let's just go for it. So here we are. We are on Void Linux, um, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. The setup, XBPS uh, package manager is amazing. It's great. It's fast. Um, whether it's as fast as Pac-Man or not, I don't know. I haven't really compared too terribly much yet. I've been busy setting up. Um, but starting services, I'm going to tell you something. The lack of systemd, so far I have no trouble with not having systemd. My machine boots like crazy fast. Um, I can start services with just a quick link. I mean, there's just, it's just all this stuff I will go over. This was just kind of an introduction to the fact that I have switched. I am in the void now. I am a void Linux user at this time. How long? Who knows? Uh, but for, for the foreseeable future, this is, this is where I am. Now, that being said, there was one thing that I want to cover that I had to do. Well, I shouldn't say I had to do that. I did just for my ease. And that has to do with these void with these void packages and stuff. Um, if you want to install packages from this, basically what you have to do is you have to clone this repository onto your system and then you have to run through several commands and it compiles these programs and then installs them. And so there was several commands. It was kind of a several long command process. You know, you did one thing that searched for the source file in here and then 
if it found it, it compiled it, and then you had to do another thing to run the bootstrap on everything, and then you have to do another pa So there was just multiple things you had to do. So basically what I want to do is I wanted to make something that uh, kind of eased the headache on that. And so I wanted to, I want something kind of like Yay or like um, Paru or, and I'm not going to go that big. I know those things are pretty, I think those are pretty hefty. I haven't ever actually gotten into the code on those or anything like that. Um, but I know they're not just a short little simple script, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but but I just want to do something that's pretty basic. I can just run it on my system and it will take care of a lot of the headache for me. Um, so basically, what I want to do is I want to, let's open a terminal here. Let's zoom in. Let's clear the screen. And let's, uh, let's do, into my scripts directory, let's do, let's, let's call it uh, the void source packages hit enter and so I'm going to create a script here that's going to kind of handle all this for me with uh, one command as opposed to having to run several commands so basically what I want to do is first I need to get the shebang and I am running bash right now so TFL if you do watch this um, I know I'm using the bin bash and yes I'm in bash does that mean I'm going to stay in bash no don't hate me <laughs> <laughs> but for now I'm in bash so I'm using the the the, the shebang uh, bin bash so um, that being said so let's get that going here and I want to just make this streamlined so let's do directory one we're gonna do a variable here for directory one is going to be home packages now you can see let me open Ranger here maybe but I have a um, directory here called packages Now I created that directory and when you go into that directory I made another directory called void packages which is the same name as that github repo and then once I CD into the void packages then I did as you can see I did my uh, git pull and I put that into my void packages so that being said I want to do um, packages and then void packages so that's going to be my first directory, then I want directory 2 is going to be home packages. I could have just copied this line, but my brain shuts down when I'm trying to record something, and so I don't do things as efficiently as I should. But that being said, and then I want this one to go all the way into source packages. So, those are my two directories I need, I think. So, the first one, okay. So, yeah. So, then basically what I want to do when I run this, I want to make sure that repo is up to date. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to cd into directory 1. And then I want to do a git pull. So, basically what this is going to do is this is going to cd into this void packages directory, the main directory that I have my repo pulled into, and it's going to run a git pull. That's going to tell me if everything's up to date. If everything's not up to date, because I don't want to be installing software that's not up to date right off the bat. So what that's going to do, that's going to make sure that the that repository is up to date. If it's not, it's going to pull it. Um, and it is going to um, update. So we're going to do that. And then we want to cd into directory 2. And... Let's see here, what do I do? So, once I'm in there, I want it to find, if you go into, let's go into this here real quick, and we'll show you what's going on here. Actually, we'll go into Ranger real quick, and we'll go down to Packages, Avoid Packages, and if we go into the Source Packages directory, give it a second here to load, these are all the different packages, all the different things you can install, kind of like the AUR, the list of packages, and the AUR, this is the list of packages in there. So if it's under uh, packages, void dash packages, source packages, and then you have all the lists of the packages you can install. So when I go in there, I want it to look for, so it's going to look for a directory, because as you see, these are all directories, all these different packages, they're all, they're all their own directory. 
So I want it to look for the directory, but I want it to look for one that I am going to specify. So my first argument when I run this, like saying, like if you're installing something from yay and you go yay-s, you know, ncmpcpp, then it's going to go look for NCM ncmpcpp and install it. So I want mine to do the same thing. So it's going to check for the directory argument one that I type in. And then... So if it finds that directory, then we need to cd back into directory one because when you do this, you go into your, when you install here, like I said, I'm gonna go over this all a little deeper, but you do everything from this void packages directory. Um, you run the source packages command. Um, like, and I'll show you here when I type out the rest of this command that I want. So we're gonna go into directory one we're going to cd into there, and then we are going to run xbps-src. So we're going to source package, and then we're going to source the package from my argument that I typed in. And once it sources the package, we are going to... Um, install it. From the repo. So we need to do install, let's see if I can remember this command. I haven't been doing this for very long. I think it's repository um, hoster and then but let's see repository hoster. Yeah, I think that's it. So then we want to look for our first argument again. Um, and so that will search for it and source it. This will search for it, then it'll see the end of the directory we need if it finds it, and it will source it and install it. Um, if then, do, 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 yep, then, if not, we are going to print f not found. So. Okay. First, let's test the beginning of this. Let's do a, let's comment this and this, and let's do found. So if it finds the directory, oops, the Jake, printf, found. Okay. So let's just run this, let's just test this real quick. And then we'll do fi, and then we'll escape, and we'll write. So, it should cd into this, do a git pull to make sure everything's up to date, then it should check for the argument or whatever program I'm looking to install. If it's found, then it's gonna print found. If it's not, then it's gonna print not found. Okay. So let's, um, so let's see, ch mode um, plus x and it's in home scripts VSP, not DSP, VSP. So that should make it executable. Okay, so now we should be able to type VSP and let's say I am looking for NCMPCPP. Uh, no such file or directory. Okay, so let's check that. Uh, line six. So directory one, void packages. Oh, you know what? I bet I didn't, did I hook up my internet? Again, I'm sitting in my car, so. Yeah, internet's hooked up. Let's try. Yeah. Okay, let me see here. I'm trying to think of what. Oh, geez, Jake, give me a break. Why don't you guys tell me that I didn't have my. Come on, man, you're killing me. Oh, I am so not awake today. Okay, let's try this again. So, if we 
do VSP, NCMP, CPP. And it's already up to date. So it checked for the poll and it found the file. Okay, so good. So now we know that this all works. So if we delete this, delete those, right, right, quit. Okay, so now let's go back into that again real quick. So now again, this changes, these are my directories, these are my uh, variables. So it's gonna CD into this directory here, the void packages, and it's gonna do a git pull to make sure everything's up to date. Then once it does do once it does that, it's gonna CD into my second directory, which is the source packages, and it's gonna look for the package I specify in my first argument. Then if it finds that, it's gonna CD back into the void packages directory, it's gonna run the XBPS source to source that package, and then install that package from the repository after it's been compiled. If it doesn't find it, it's gonna print not found, and then it will it'll exit. So, that being said, let's go ahead and give this a shot. So, let's do, I already have this installed, but let's just go with the NCMP CPP one again. So, VSP NCMP CPP. So, it's already up to date, it's updating the repositories, blah, 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 it does it, sourcing it, and it's going through, it's sourcing everything, um, I don't know how long this is going to take. It took quite a while last night. I don't know if since it's already installed, it will go quicker. Um, it doesn't look like it, especially since I'm running off a hot spot on my phone. Well, we're going to... Oh, wait. Hold on. It's actually going pretty quick now. Hold on. Let's see if it works. Uh, the little elevator music for you guys. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, my son's out climbing a tree. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, again, though, with this void, this void setup is unbelievably easy. Um, I thought I'd miss system D, you know, I, I just really gotten comfortable with system D and all that. Um, I don't know. There's some other stuff that I might miss from it. I don't know yet. I haven't actually been living in void long enough, but I mean, I've been living in it long enough and I've seen enough to have me switch. Um, and that being said, I'm not a I'm not knocking Arch in any way, shape, or form. I still love Arch. I'm probably going to my other laptop is a dual drive, so I'll probably have an Arch. I'm thinking maybe Artix installed on my other machine permanently, but then I have a second drive to do my long term tests on. Um, so I will continue to use Arch because I do like it. I like it a lot. I just have found that Void is amazing. So let's go ahead and cancel that because that's going to take a while, but. It's all going to work. It's amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, more videos to come. Um, I hope you have a great Christmas and New Year. Merry Christmas and God bless.